What's going on guys? I just got my Tab S11 Ultra and wanted to make a quick video just to show you guys the fastest way to transfer all your data from a previous tablet to your new tablet. And it's actually pretty simple. The first time you turn on your Tab S11, you'll be met with this welcome screen here. All you have to do is tap start, then agree to Samsung's terms and conditions, tap agree. And on this page, all you have to do is select which previous device you're coming from. In this case, I'm coming from a Tab S10 Ultra. So I'm gonna tap Galaxy or Android device. And I even got a pop-up on my Tab S10 Ultra to make it even easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap set up. Now I gotta pick up this tablet and scan the QR code on the other tablet. Then I'll be asked to verify it's me by entering the unlock pattern from the previous device. And if you check this box, you can use the same unlock pattern on your new device. And if you're wondering why the screen on the Tab S11 Ultra is significantly dimmer than the Tab S10 Ultra, it's because the default brightness is really low when you're first setting up the tablet. But once it's set up, you'll see that the brightnesses are about the same. Once the new tablet finishes scanning the old tablet, I'll be able to copy all of the apps and data from the previous device. But before you do that, you have to agree to Smart Switches Terms and Conditions. So go ahead and tap Agree, then tap Allow. And now you can choose your transfer method. If you don't have a ton of data to transfer, wireless is perfectly fine to use. But if you've got a ton of photos and videos or just a lot of large files in general that you want to transfer, cable is probably going to be a bit faster for you. I personally don't have too much, so I'm just going to choose wireless. After the Tab S11 Ultra finishes scanning the previous device, you'll be given a few options for what you want to transfer. Personally, I recommend choosing the custom option because what this does is allow you to really fine tune exactly what you want to transfer. And if I tap this apps option, for example, I can deselect any applications that I don't want to transfer. Once you're done making your selections, it'll show you how much data you're going to be transferring at the top and show you about how long it's going to take. Then you can just tap transfer and all that data is going to be transferred from the old device to the new device. And while all that data is transferring, you'll be able to continue setting up the new device. And once you finish going through the setup process, you can tap see what's new and that'll give you a whole list of new things to try on your tablet. Once you're done going through those tips, you can tap the back button and tap the home option and that'll take you to your home screen. And if I pull down the notification shade, I'll be able to see how close the transfer is to completing. And if I tap it, I can see exactly what it's currently transferring. And until all the applications finish installing, anything that's not installed is gonna look a bit grayed out compared to the applications that are installed. If you had already set up your Tab S11 Ultra and forgot to transfer all the data from a previous device during the initial setup process, that's not a problem. You can still reinitiate that process by going to your applications, tapping in this search bar here, searching for the word smart, then opening up the smart switch application. Now just select receive on this tablet and you'll be able to go through the same process that I showed you guys earlier. And in case you missed it, this even works with iPhones and iPads. If you want to see a deep dive comparison between the Tab S9, S10, and S11 Ultra, consider subscribing and turning on notifications because that video is coming up real soon. But if you already know that you want to get the Tab S11 Ultra and you want the best possible deal, you can use my affiliate links in the description and pinned comment to take advantage of Samsung's huge trade-in deals. And if you bundle some accessories, you'll get even more savings. That's it for this tech episode. Jesus loves you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.